well with press hardening steel and the, the related technology, it's possible to achieve strength levels um, of performances of parts which are far above um, any other technology. It's a lot of advantage advantages when compared to coal forming steel or, or normal conventional processes because you can have higher formabilities, you can have more complex shapes, you don't have a spring bug problem and these uh, uh, geometry prob problems. So it offers a lot of advantages from a many point of view. Since press hardening has been invented, it is possible to get the same strength out of safety relevant parts with thinner sheet. And this is particularly useful for weight saving in cars. Uh, so reducing uh, energy consumption, reducing CO2 emissions, while at the same time um, preserving uh, the passenger safety in cars of, of crash. This was started here in the area 20 years, 25 years ago, and it's now a globally accepted uh, technology, and it's going to continue. Okay, we should be proud of, of, of being the, what should I say, the developer of the technology from this area. What we know, see from the market is that uh, the use of press hardening still will increase, especially in Europe. Um, it is already increasing uh, since a few years and it will, uh, there will be a further increase. And uh, in the next years also in the Asian market it will go further on. Next generation of cars will have an increase from maybe 8-10% of boros steel or press hardened components in, in, in the structures and we will see maybe uh, up to 40-50% in, in rather short future. Uh, at uh, Lulia University uh, we have this tradition of very active interaction with industry, uh, not only uh, with the local industry but uh, all over Sweden. Uh, this area is uh, the cradle of press hardening to my opinion. Here were the uh, first trials made. Lulia is a real, the best example of, of how such a collaboration can work and actually work because that was here the, the founding site of hot stamping neurology and the interaction with the Julia University well, brought this technology to the stage where we are today. There's one aspect which I learned was interesting. Uh, it's about the, the possibility to partially harden safety relevant parts. That means some of the, uh, like the B column is a safety relevant parts, needs in some area uh, to be soft and in other areas to be hardened. That to combine was difficult and this is a new technology which I think is the trend and this is what I also learned here. I think that uh, the steps uh, on this field are not so big at the moment. Uh, there are smaller steps concerning various things, material process and so on. But um, these small steps are quite important to move into the right direction. I'm really impressed about the uh, rapid development in uh, simulation and also in describing the materials performance in the press hardening operation. This conference is uh, a means to, to create an international platform for, for this type of research, research on hot sheet metal forming or high performing steel. And uh, since we have had a long tradition here in Lulia and uh, in research and industrial development, we also want to uh, establish an international community. The most important effect of, of this conference is to intensify the, the networking within the technological scene on an international level because only by having access to this type of networks it is possible to achieve a substantial improve in, in the performance of, of hot sheet metal forming technology. Hot hub press hardening steels is are the future because as I told you they offer a kind of uh, special 
innovative and, and has high, uh, let's say, functionality to structural pieces. So it's a, it's a way to, um, to be out of the conventional thing.